For me, it's about providing the answers to the customers as quickly as possible. As we kind of move into the future, you're talking about leveraging data and analytics and product telemetry so we can use Gen AI in a way of where we're going to solve issues before they actually occur. I'm Julie baxter Road. I'm the Vice President of Global Support here at Elastic. Choir was my first hurrah into doing something that had nothing to do with work and it was just something that I did for myself. And the camaraderie that you have with the choir, like you get the most eclectic group of people come together and they create this amazing sound. In support, we have all these different skills and all this different knowledge across the organisation and they're all knowledge workers, so they're all creating content. Whereas in a choir, we all have our harmony parts, which Sam, our choir master, has taught us, but she's the one that brings it all together. She's the Gen AI in this scenario. Traditionally, in, in support, you would have several tiers of, of support. So you'd have tier one, tier two, tier three. Tier three being very deep expertise. And your, your tier one will take care of a lot of your known and simple issues. The problem with a tiered support model is that it takes time. So it slows down the process because it goes through tier one, then it'll get escalated up to tier two, then it'll get escalated up to tier three. What Gen AI does, it eradicates the need for some of those tiering. We want the customers to be tier one themselves. They want them to self-serve and be able to find those simple issues. So you can start squashing those tiers down and the more you can squash those tiers, the faster you get to resolution. TSIA did um, some modeling there's the kind of a mountain and a lake is the visual, and there's the below the waterline, which is things like chatbots, the kind of question trees and things like that. The above the waterline are things like support assistance, like generative AI using natural language processing and LLMs to answer questions. And then you go into the summit of the mountain and you're talking about things like telemetry and automated diagnosis and self-healing and things like that. Ultimately, you want to move from this kind of reactive to proactive, and that's where the power of search and the intelligence comes into play. So you've got all this data, whether it's login, knowledge content, technical documentation, and then telemetry. You apply the intelligence to what the data lake that you've got, and that's where you start looking at things like, like I'm gonna solve the problem for you and I'm just gonna notify you. We hit this problem, we fixed it, and we did this to make sure it doesn't happen again. Bringing Gen AI into the support profession makes engineers super nervous. And they think that if Gen AI is providing the answers to the customers, then what am I going to be doing? And am I going to lose my job? The answer is no. A lot of the Gen AI that we're creating is we're, we're automating kind of admin overhead. And then Gen AI is only as good as the content and that has to come from the, the support organization. It's augmentation and it's evolution. And I think once the support leadership team help create that North Star for engineers, worry goes away and then you're left with excitement and opportunity.